directly with China back in 1971. George was on the U.S. team that broke the ice barrier with uh, communist China. And uh, George, who lives on Roosevelt Island, has done a lot of work with establishing ping pong on the island. And in appreciation of all his hard work, George is who is a uh, Hall of Famer of the U.S. table tennis. Thank you. We have, oh, I'm sorry, we have uh, a uh, Roosevelt Island tennis uh, organization which George started. We have uh, uh, tennis ping pong uh, night, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday nights. And it's a great, ping pong is actually a great, great sport for the kids. We also, in appreciation, the uh, Roosevelt Island Operating Corporation, we purchased three ping pong outdoor tables, which can be used all year round. And actually, we have a third one, which is on, which is on, which is going to be uh, delivered in a couple of weeks. So, uh, George, just want to say thank you. You've been a great help. I hope uh, you got a lot of kids involved. I shouldn't say ping pong, table tennis, and it's a great sport. I know the kids love it. I personally love it, even though I don't have that much time to play. And I know a lot of people on the island, I met a lot of people, made a lot of great friends that uh, they play every week. And people that don't play, I hope you start realizing that we have a great thing on the island and that uh, you come down and participate. In appreciation, I want to, George, is going to be a plaque. This little court over here is going to be dedicated to the uh, George, the chief Brathway ping pong or table tennis court. First of all, I would like to thank uh, RIA, that's the Roosevelt Island Operating Corporation, for allowing me the opportunity to conduct coaching sessions uh, at their facility, which is known as the uh, gymnasium or sports bar. Uh, having said that, um, Steve, the 
vice president of Korea mentioned that I was on the United States team in 1971. Uh, uh, you may start doing some calculations to figure out how old I am. But in 71, I was only 10 or 12 years old. So. Uh, Right. <laughs> and you know, uh, I told Steve, I believe, uh, several weeks ago that I thought my days for receiving accolades had long come to an end, but they have actually allowed me a new lease on life. And this, this is a new opportunity. I welcome it. And I also welcome the opportunity to be able to communicate and be a part of uh, all of the players here today. Uh, I look forward to many more years of conducting these sessions. And um, what else can I say? Um, I love the sport of table tennis. And you know, whenever I give a talk to either uh, university, college, uh, community centers, etc. I always try to emphasize the benefits that are derived from playing the game of the sport of table tennis. And that is, as most of you are aware, it's great for the hand-eye coordination because there are athletes in other sports that play a little ping pong so as to either maintain or improve their hand-eye coordination. Uh, it's also good for the cardiovascular. And when played at a high level, it's a good form of aerobics because of the constant movements involved. Uh, one of the things that um, I'm also very happy about is that uh, this program <coughs> allows me the opportunity to try and develop the sport of table tennis because as most of you are aware it's still being perceived as a game that's played for recreational activity rather than a highly respected sport uh, it's an olympic sport and you know the olympic committee never accept a sport unless there's a great degree of athleticism to it. It's the number two participation sport in the world. Uh, statistics have uh, actually uh, shown that. And uh, it has the credibility, so all of us that are engaged and involved in playing the sport of table tennis should be very proud and uh, look, I, I depend on each and every one of you to do whatever little you can to pass the word on to others uh, as to why they should become a part of this great sport. It's a sport that does not discriminate against age, sex, height, size. It accommodates people of all ethnicities, all ages, all sizes. Uh, so, I don't want to hold this tournament. <laughs> Our time is limited here, as a matter of fact. So, I would say thank you. Thank you very much. And once again, thanks to Ria. Have a good day. Thank you, George. And um, I just hope everybody takes advantage of our new ping pong outdoor tables. Because we're really proud of them. It took us a while to get. And we're one of the first areas in New York City to get these ping pong tables. And um, we're very proud of them. So, thank you. Also, uh, Mike Smith. Welcome, everyone. Um, we have uh, 
free rap store that we're giving out today for, for the kids. Um, not for you guys that already have one. <laughs> <laughs> The ones we have can't compare to the ones you have. But, but we want the kids to get involved as well. And so therefore, we're providing uh, these paddles for uh, the kids and the balls, hoping that they'll follow in George's footsteps. So thank you all for participating in this great historical event. <laughs> and if anyone doesn't know where Sports Park is, he'll tell you. <laughs>